Welcome back. Next, let's take a look at the interactive learning environment you'll be using as part of this course. So if we head into our atoms and primitives module, just as an example, and then we select start, we'll be brought into the actual content of the module itself. So we've got three different things available to us. The first one being our sandbox environment, the second one being the video content, and then the third one being a discussion forum where we can ask any questions that we may have. So if we launch our sandbox first of all, and I encourage you all to do this now, you'll see I'm brought into this Jupyter Notebook environment. And this is actually hosted on our learn.kx.com environment. And this is an entirely cloud-based and browser-based tool. And this will be available for you to use throughout all of the modules. So there is absolutely no requirement on you to do any software install as part of this course. I'm sure you'll be glad to hear. And for those of you who already have Q installed, feel free to work alongside um, in the Q interpreter um, on that as well. So this is the general layout of a Jupyter Notebook. You'll see up in the top right corner, it's telling me that I'm connected to Q in the background as opposed to something else like Python, for example. Um, so down here, I've got a mixture of Markdown, and you can see that says Markdown when I click on it, as well as code cells. And the code cells are Q because I've selected a Q kernel. So if I change this here and I hit run, you'll see that's now calculating and running the Q code in line as part of the notebook, which is super useful because I'm allowed to mix up these description cells with the code cells as well. You'll see that I ran that code cell by using this run command. Um, you can also head to help and then keyboard shortcuts to see what other keyboard shortcuts for you to run. So for me, it's command and enter to run a cell. Um, but for you, it might be something different. And you can also personalize those as well if you want to. So just some housekeeping on Jupyter. Um, if at any point your kernel dies or if you have any issues, you can select kernel, interrupt and restart here, or just shut it down and restart it as well. So if you run into any trouble, um, feel free to try that out and that should resolve the issues with the kernel dying on you. You can also add new code cells here along the way. So if you're trying out something that isn't there already, you can feel free to just hit the plus and then add in any code that you may want to run yourself there. Um, you'll see we have these QBs as well. So these are a little Q newbies. So anywhere you see this, it's got a helpful little tip for newcomers to the language. Um, so look out for those and definitely um, pause and, and take in what they're saying because they'll help you out a lot as you go through. We also have in places a lot of exercises. So you'll see here an exercise where the solution is hidden with this pill. So um, at many points in the videos, I'll say, pause the video here and try this exercise. And I would really encourage you to do that um, as you go through the courses. Um, and then once you're happy, you've made an attempt at it, um, you can obviously hit the show solution button to double check that you got it right. Um, and to find out if your implementation matches errors or if you figured out a different way to do it as well, that's great. There's also lots of links to our code.kx.com page um, as well as other documentation we recommend. So the Jupyter Notebooks are just a learning tool and a, just a way to start um, bringing some concepts and allowing people to code all in the one environment. But code.kx.com is our primary documentation site. So um, you'll have this open the entire way through the course. I'll be constantly referring to this in the videos um, and I definitely recommend you know you have this open in a separate tab. So always uh, pause the video and head to those links to do extra further reading um, on all the different concepts that you come across. Um, the note notebooks are just a very quick introduction um, but for more comprehensive information definitely check out all those links that we provide. And then finally, um, at the end of every module, at the end of the last video, I'll be showing you and indicating you to remove the end of the URL up here, and that will bring you to some additional exercises and some additional content in this second notebook here. Um, and there for you to really go away and try and really comp compound your knowledge and test out lots more examples there. And you'll see as well, we've provided the solutions for you there as well, so you won't be stuck, okay? Um, so I'll see you in the next video where we'll talk about what to do if you have any issues running this learn.kx.com environment.